Why did Brian Koberger allegedly kill? We do know that in the days preceding the crime, he stalked each of the four victims. We do know that he had a degree in criminology and that he listed himself on several social media sites as the principal student investigator who was studying criminals and in particular their thoughts, feelings, and emotions before, during, and after a crime. And what was interesting is that he was surveying a prison population. We do know that he was bullied in high school. Between his junior and his senior year, he lost a lot of weight, took up boxing, and then actually became somewhat of a bully himself. What insight does this give us about Brian Koberger? Well, let me share with you a little bit about sociopathy and serial killers, and this will explain a lot to you. Sociopathy is on a continuum with narcissism. So at the mild end, you have the narcissist, the person who is grandiose, um, he loves to self-aggrandize, devalue others. There's a sense of entitlement, lack of remorse, super affable and charming until he doesn't get his way and then he becomes angry. So that's the narcissist. Then you get higher up the continuum, you get somebody who is what's called antisocial personality disorder. With antisocial personality disorder, the traits of the narcissist are exacerbated. They become more intensified and severe. With a person who has antisocial personality disorder, you have failure to pay back debts to society, lying, conning, manipulativeness, promiscuity, and you're really taking advantage of other people. Let's go up the scale a little bit more till we get to the sociopath. The sociopath is really marked in, in my mind by what's called a parasitic lifestyle. The psychopath really wants to kill. And why is that? It's because psychopaths have what we call autonomic under arousal. And what that means is they don't experience heightened emotions like pleasure, like you and I do. So what they do is they use acts of cruelty and sadism in order to enhance their sexual pleasure. Now let's get back to Brian Koberger. The, the killing cycle often begins in the serial killer's mind. It goes with uh, selecting the victim, stalking the victim, having sexual fantasies about the victim. Now, now we know that there were no signs of rape or semen as far as we know at the site, but often imagine that serial killers have very active imaginations. So he probably was using the stalking experience to enhance his sexual arousal, just knowing what he was about to do. I think that he enrolled in criminology to learn how to be a better criminal. I believe that he surveyed the public and a, and a prison population about the feelings just before, during, and after committing a crime because it was a part of the offending pattern. Also, I think this increased his sexual arousal as well. I also think he was trying to get tips in terms of how to commit the crime. Why would Brian have done it? It's so simple. When you really understand this with serial killers, serial killers are empty, vacuous people. In society, we're fascinated by them, but really they're pretty boring people when you meet them and they do not know how to feel pleasure, joy, happiness, sexual arousal in normal ways because they are so empty. So when they inflict cruelty upon the victim, this turns them on. And this is the entire MO. So wait, watch, listen as this story unfolds. I'll be back to tell you some more, but I can tell you with a good degree of certainty based upon all of the research in the field and what we know about psychopathy and what happens to the brain, that this is what motivated Brian Koberger. Simple and straightforward sexual arousal.